Yes, 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 yes. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Kathy J Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with me this half hour. And thank you to everybody that is now watching us on the Denver 7 app. All right, all right. My staff and I have been working really hard to bring you a good show every day. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much for supporting us. So today, I want to talk to you about change. Because in life, it's true. One thing in life is for certain, it's change. Or wait, was it death and taxes? It was death and taxes is certain in life, but then there's change. Obviously there's change, right? So let's go with all three. So as time goes on, change is inevitably, inevitably gonna happen. I mean, my daughters are eight and five and change happens to them every day. You know, like school, friends, your body. <laughs> for <me. laughs> that was for me. Some of you all like Director Montrese. You got good bodies, but mine? <laughs> but your money changes, your relationship changes, your job changes. And I've certainly learned that over the years. So I've had a lot of jobs. If you don't know, I've worked practically everywhere. Fast food, landscaping, UPS, retail, construction, you name it, I've done it. Except for bartending because I couldn't be trusted. <laughs> But I did all of that before I landed my dream job, my first dream job, which was on the morning show here in Denver. There we are, Larry Uliberry, Kendall B, and Kathy J. Yes, to everyone out there that didn't put two and two together, I am the Kathy J that you listened to on the radio for about 20 years here in Denver. Six of that, I, and that was Usher. Yes, that was Usher that was hanging out with us. Um, six of those years, I've been here on TV with you as well, and it's an honor to be here. I consider this like my, my second act. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. I've been blessed to have so many awesome experiences with so many talented people throughout my life, throughout my radio and TV life. And I've met stars that fell from the sky, everybody. I've gotten to do a lot of amazing things like I've swam between the tectonic plates in Iceland for a TV show. I have been at, on stage at Fiddler's Green standing next to Ice Cube and Dub C watching Ludacris perform. I've even hugged the rock. I have had amazing experiences in this career I know woo woo saying it out ladies I've hugged the rock and yes he smelled delicious I'm sorry he smelled really nice <laughs> but it hasn't come without me redefining and staying true to who I am because trust me people want to push you into who they think you are all the time and you know radio is a male dominated industry so is TV for that matter let's be honest here and at one time on the radio station I was one of two girls on a staff of 21 so, side note, you know how they say women gossip? <laughs> men gossip. Boy, oh boy, can men gossip. Anyways, as I got older, it became apparent that even in radio, a place where it shouldn't matter what you look like, it mattered what you looked like. If you were a female, I heard it all the time. Whenever we'd be hanging out discussing jocks, if it was a female jock, the first question, what does she look like? Let's see what she looks like. If it was a guy jock, they just wanted to know what he sounded like. Never mattered what he looked like or how old he was. It wasn't cool. And that goes for TV too, by the way. Let's not forget. It doesn't look good. Women don't, can't age on TV. So hang in there with me, everybody, because I want to hang out with you on TV. So I made it my mission to prove that women were not just giggle boxes and pretty faces. The problem is, though, we live in a youth-obsessed culture that sees women as older and past their prime. But nothing can be further from the tr truth because it's time to change, everybody. Everybody gets old. Newsflash, you're going to get old. I'm getting old. We're going to get old. But aging is a badge of honor, okay? It implies we got wisdom. We got advice. We got a lot left to contribute. So today, we're going to be focusing on women who are pivoting in their careers. So if you're out there, ladies, and you need this show, this is for you. They're taking the bold step at the age of 40, 50, even in their 60s. So stick around, because today is the day when women have declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. And we'll be right back. Kathy J. Oakwood Homes is an official partner of the Kathy J Show. Oakwood Homes. Building happiness. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. So if you're a woman and you're feeling uninspired at your current job, or maybe your career just isn't making you excited anymore, maybe you're a little older and you're like, I need a change. It all seems to be normal, except for that older part. Because <laughs> all of us, it's okay to say we want to change our jobs. But when you're older, 
it gets a little harder, especially as a woman, because you can't get out of what your age is. It's right here. Is it too late, though? Are you past the best years of your full potential? No. Boo. I'll tell you that. <laughs> We're here to tell you it's never too late. Barbara Brooks, yay, the founder and CEO of Second Act Women, is here to explain why. Hi, Thanks Barbara. For First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on this. Okay, can I just tell you guys, when, when Barbara and I were discussing earlier, or when in the monologue, when I was saying yeah. it, radio, when I was one of those two women on the staff of 21, oh, yeah. Barbara was one of my sales girls <laughs> at KS175. Isn't that awesome? I was. That was like 2001. I know. It's crazy. You were actually oh my one gosh. of my favorite. Well, you, you were. were yes. <laughs> she was one of the only chicks on the team, as you said. Right. There, were only, there was you, and I don't even remember the other woman that was on the team. I don't either. I think it was Drina. Drina, Drina might have been even after I left. Yeah, you might so, have been the only one. So yeah, so yeah. it's 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 kind of it's definitely a male dominated field, and even male in dominated. sales, um, it's it's all male dominated. So yeah. thank you for being here. It's awesome that our journeys have brought us together We're on crossing. the couch. I know, I love it. It's always what I've wanted, actually. So I'm, okay, so let's get into it. <laughs> Tell everybody, Barbara yes. Brooks, um, <laughs> what is Second Act Women, and why did you create it? Uh, so. You know, I know I created the, a company called Second Act Women because I couldn't get hired. Yes, I was 51 <laughs> in 2018 uh -huh. and I was struggling like most and, you know, the hundred plus it felt like it resumes, maybe get an interview or two. Mm -hmm. um, when I do, I used to be the person probably or some people are going to agree with this statement uh -huh. where you'd be that person that moves forward. Go ahead. And you get, can keep talking. Yes. Yes. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> <laughs> My 84 year old mom's going, what's going on here? Uh, <laughs> hi to the hi to the watch hi, party. Yeah, right? everybody oh, that's yeah, watching. The Second Act Women Facebook group. Yes, the Second Act Women Facebook group. Yes, okay, and my yes. work wife Guadalupe hurts. Um, and so I decided that I, as a marketer by trade, would do a little research and find out. Okay, if I can't get back into corporate America because I'd been an entrepreneur for ten years, yeah. left my my job as director of marketing of Park Meadows Retail Resort. So yes. I, like you, have dipped into several different industries. And um, fast forward to hearing what the ladies were saying in these focus groups, I learned, I started recognizing a pattern and it was women over 40 and 50 who were saying they would love to go to an event or to, or, or um, you know, and connect with yes, other women like right. that. And they would like to be able to talk about mental health issues without being um, feeling small or the fact they can't talk about those issues with other people. Yep. They wanted, if they're starting businesses, uh, this camaraderie, this group of women who could help them and support them in this new trajectory. So we, Lupe and I started listening to them and said, okay, aha, my Oprah moment was right. second act women. And let's create something for the woman over 40 and 50. Uh-huh who are struggling and it's because ultimately gendered ageism. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So before, let, yeah. we'll, we'll get to, yeah, Oh yeah, we're gonna get into that. We'll get into gendered ageism. <laughs> so it launched in July of 2018. Yes. Okay, but you were yes. going to do an event company. What changed the direction? Yes. That's, it's so interesting. It was, it was, it was going to be an event, be company, that an event company that helped women, um, more particularly women in their entrepreneurship journey. Okay. So it was BizLifeCon. Um, at the time it was BizCon. Yeah. And, um, you know what trained it, changed it? What? Was what they're seeing on screen. Was feeling um, the next day um, this, this another aha moment as if we have figured out that women needed more than just an event. Right. They needed more than just a once a year, twice a year conference. They wanted to come together more they wanted more resources and tools that are not offered yeah. um, or out there for women over uh, over 40 and 50. There aren't any. Or you have to do a lot of research to find them. So Lupe and I said, oh my gosh, we need to do more. We've got to create more. And we'll talk a little bit more about what the company is. But we discovered that it wasn't just about events. No, it wasn't. It's about age equity. Right. But yes. then COVID hit. And so. then COVID hit. <laughs> wah, wah. So, so what is age equity? I love that you use that word. Yeah, that's our new tag word is age equity. It's as you said, you know, all the isms are um, a beautiful, there's light that happened in darkness. 
uh, that happens in darkness. So what happened last year and over the year of the pandemic is inclusivity became obviously a part of the conversation. Yes. Corporately all the way up to the smallest yes. of companies, which yes. is a beautiful thing as a black woman, mm -hmm. right? Um, but then Lupe and I started doing research again. <laughs> it's okay. um, and you saying, have done a lot minute. of research. I know. <laughs> You guys have been watching a lot of days. We're getting to know us. We saw it, yes. So, so we um, we discovered that of the 92, that of the companies that have D, E, and I, diversity and inclusion uh -huh. initiatives, um, only 8% of them include age. Only 8% include age. They focused on race and sex. And yeah, didn't which focus is beautiful. On the age. But then age, nice. and age is something every one of us, you said it. We're, we're all, all when I just gained a few seconds in age just now talking to I you. Know. So you look fabulous. Ages, Thank Don't you, let 54, it get to me. 54 is the new 54. <laughs> I'm not trying to be 44 again or 34 again or 24. Right. right. She doesn't want to see that guy again. <laughs> 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 oh my lord no i don't <laughs> but, ge but gendered ageism in the workplace right like yeah. that that is it's prevalent yes everywhere and, and the problem is that corporate types who are mostly held by white i, I guess yeah. the new term is cisgender white cisgender men don't Wait, recognize cis cis cisgender oh. oh i didn't know are oh we supposed see to say we that? all have to learn these new things okay. that's a part of de and i and lgbtq plus okay you know like we say we're his and her yes, hers okay. yeah i got you um now. so i know i just started using it myself good um but um they are perpetuating the old boys club by just hiring always e whether they're hiring their type or hiring young, whether right. it's a male or female. So they think they're saving money mm -hmm. and increasing their bottom line when they're hiring young. But the opposite is true because as we like to preach, intergenerational teams are actually better. Yeah. Because we're all learning from one another. Yes. So just there's wisdom on the age, there's technology on the youth. They can all come together and, and yeah. make the best product. So here's the thing, you just said technology, guess what? That is something they think that we're not good at. Well, I'm not that good at it. Well. <laughs> There are some that are not, no matter the age. Ask producer Colleen. I'm not that good. <laughs> Love that. We do. We do help our women with that. Do I will you? tell Because it's a tool. It's, it's something that I need yeah. to. Yes. I. We all got to reboot ourselves. You kind of have to. Right. And if you. And it's funny because the younger adults, so your kids, and I would say the millennials and zennials now are all what they call digital natives. Yes. Well, I was do. I was talking <laughs> to someone, and I said, "Wait a minute." As I was preparing for a speech. Um, we're tech natives. There was Pac-Man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Remember that right? ball and the patience that we have watching that ball go across the screen and We pog. have a lot of patience because the, Walkmans... the game always froze. <laughs> it was like, and that ball's like stuck right here. Right. And you're just waiting. <laughs> so, Henry, so thank you. We will be right back. We have so much more to talk about with Barbara. We're going to talk about second act women. Put it in your corner because it's a chance for you to really have your own personal comeback. There's a lot of resources. We're going to get into all of it when we come back. <laughs> Kathy J. The Colorado Lottery is an official partner of the Kathy J Show. Colorado Lottery, play on. <laughs> ah, here we go. Welcome back, everybody. Barbara and I are over here going, are these lights really hot? It's hot in here today. I'm Can sorry. Hot I need here? a big fan down there. Okay, did you know, this is this this is a very sad statistic, but did you guys know that 75% of women reported their age as a disadvantage when they were searching for a job? That's a lot. That's way too many. And on the job itself, 64% of women say that they've experienced ageism. That's why we're talking about it today. It's a very real problem, and it's, it's unfair. It's <laughs> so yeah. it doesn't have to hold you back because we can't, make people change all we can do is get stronger and yes. combine our efforts together to push past all those ignorant people barbara brooks mm -hmm. with second act women is here to help workshops retreats you have everything yeah. okay so you support women career women and female entrepreneurs yes. that's really where second act women focuses yes okay so yes. um how do you provide help to both of them so for the entrepreneur uh it's really for both it's workshops all those workshops yes. and conferences soon to be retreats and things, but the topics are different. So for the entrepreneur, it could be how to brand your company, uh -huh. how to um, uh, generate sales, how to read your books, loans, how to, loans yeah. where to go, which right. is another area that, su that we're suffering in is 
banks aren't supporting us. And no, those, only three percent, I think they say, of women yeah, of, of female entrepreneurs are receiving funding. What? It's low, and even lower for uh, my my work wife and I. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because you are women of color. Because we're women of color. She's Mexican. Hello. Right. What are you? <laughs> Black. Ah! <laughs> All right. Um, now you recently yes. hosted the career camp. For we did, and that's what we this do for, is, yes. Yes, okay, so tell everybody about that, about what you oh learned gosh. about leveling the playing field. A lot, and yeah. let, me give you, let me give you a tip. Our recruiters that were there from Amazon and, and Uplight, uh -huh. they talked about how to use and, and break the, um, the codes behind uh, LinkedIn. You've got to get into engaging on LinkedIn. Really? Updating your profile pics. Don't have picture, pictures of your dogs as much as you and I love them. <laughs> Um, engage with people. I right. know. Uh, engage with people or companies that you're looking to join, and literally find that CEO or that that manager that you're hoping to work for, or you because you plan on being the CEO. You know, follow uh -huh. um, that industry and really engage. Um, so you're for the career finding woman. That LinkedIn is a way in. LinkedIn is the the way in. No longer are you know the ATS system. There's this automated. See, I can't remember. It's a system that when you- It's when old. You, it's, it's very old because the minute you, you turn in your resume, it goes through a system. You have to hope that you put the right words in there to get caught oh, by yeah, the yeah. person. The keyword search. The keywords. Yeah, we don't like that. Yeah, so the All best right. way is to really get to know the recruiters, the HR managers of those companies that, and that includes if you're switching careers. Yes, absolutely. Like okay. you, you've, I mean, <laughs> hello. There's yeah. some of those I didn't know you did. <laughs> I wish you were my bartender, though. I probably got a lot of shots. It would have been free, I'll tell you that, because I would have been drunk with you and forgot to ask you to pay the bill. Hello. All right. <laughs> so here's the thing. That's why I couldn't do it. So you also, this is what I love. You also have awesome paid, or these awesome paid memberships for yes. women. So tell everybody what they get for the membership. Yes, for the member membership to Second Act Women, you get the t-shirt that you have on. There you go, yes, right? ageless. And then you get, because you have to know your why. I don't care if you are looking to switch careers, stay in a career, um, up level or start a company. You have to start with why. Yep. So we get this from our partners at Douglas County Libraries. You yes. get that and you get a plethora of free events every month. You get 30% off of our conferences and the retreats that we'll be bringing and all of that. So it's major savings and it's only $129 a year. Yeah, it's awesome. Right now for Kathy J. Yeah, right, is. right. So you do have an exclusive deal for Kathy J. We viewers. Do. What it's, is it? It's 129 and the code is DEAL129. And the community, we do special events just for those women um, and so it's it's our it's that own little um, smaller it. community. Yep. Well, thank you, thank you, everybody. Yes. So everybody, what's what do they have to put in when they go to Second Act Women? Deal one twenty nine. Deal one twenty nine. Yes. Everybody. Okay. Now there also is an event October twenty first and twenty second. You just put that up. We're you're hosting it here in Denver. It's yes. your Biz and Life Con. It's yes. the big one. Yes, that's the entrepreneur side of what we're doing. Uh -huh. And it's pretty darn cool. It is the one that launched the company. Uh -huh. And so we have um, over 15 workshops, working workshops. So we want you to really engage and do the work. Yes. Um, we'll have a live DJ all day. One of your girls, um, DJ Phoenix. Or, no, I'm sorry, not Phoenix. You worked at KS. And of course, I just dropped that. Desire. Name. Desire. I love Desire. Yes, we have mimosas all day. Debbie. Oh, honey, we're, at the, we, we're drinking if we want to. I want her to come and be a DJ here on my show. Oh, she should. I know. She'll be awesome. Okay, we have one. You have like 30 seconds Denver Startup Week we got on the panel with Denver Startup Week with Stacy London from what not to wear She's amazing right Lupe and I are leading this we are helping you we're teaching you how to play that age card to boost your business yes that's yeah. awesome it's really I mean just because I'm 54 doesn't mean I mean I still have half my life ahead of me it's exactly right <laughs> and now look at all the knowledge you have from everything you've learned oh. in the past couple decades and I'm still learning and we're still learning <laughs> to register for everything that we talked about just head to secondactwomen.com everything is right there whether you yes. want the entrepreneur the biz and life con yeah. or whether you're looking at the Denver startup all the information is right there yep. at women's second secondactwomen.com the code one more time deal 90 deal, deal 129. 129 we'll be right back <laughs> i got it you got it ramos law is an official partner of the kathy j show he's a medical doctor and a lawyer ramos law what makes us different makes us better kathy j 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, I hate this. It's already time to end the show, but I have to say thank you to my partners, Ramos Law, Fit MD, the Colorado Lottery, and Oakwood Homes. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you to IKEA Centennial for my awesome set. It's a comfy couch, right, Barbara? It's very. And thank you, Barbara Brooks, for coming and showing up today. Before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to tell women, their 40s and 50s, living their life? Yes, I want to remind you that who you are, whether you're going through imposter syndrome or lack of confidence or whatever it may be, um, take note that you are a badass, that age does not matter. We want you to live life in full color, as I like to say, and um, you know, just enjoy where you are. If this was the second half of the Broncos game, how many games were won in the second half? Where doesn't the matter, second half! Second half. half. Live life in color. You're just in middle essence. Oh, there I love you.